Hello class, today you will need a periodic table to complete today's assignment. We're going to practice how is the periodic table arranged and can we identify how it's arranged. First step, we're going to look at the element hydrogen. Hydrogen, lithium, and sodium. Symbol H, Li, and Na. First of all, we're going to practice how to break down the structure for hydrogen. This is a blank periodic table that I have filled in. We have periods 1, 2, and 3, and we have groups 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay. First of all, I know hydrogen has an atomic number of 1. Therefore, I know it has one electron. One electron. Going down, lithium has an atomic number of three. Therefore, I must fill in the valence of the electrons for lithium. The maximum number of electrons, the first energy level, or the first ring can hold, is two. I had a total of three, so I must put the extra one with the last one on the next available energy level. Now we are going to do sodium. Atomic number 11. I know this is going to have three rings or three energy levels because it is in period three. This is period two. And this is period one. Now the atomic number for sodium is 11. So therefore I know it has 11 electrons. Two on the first energy level because that's the maximum it can hold. Started out with 11. I put two right here. That leaves me with nine. All nine cannot fit on the second energy level. It can only hold a maximum of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two plus eight is ten. I had eleven to begin with. That leaves me with one more. Since the second energy level is now full, I must put that on the last energy level. Okay. Now, Let's come over here. Yeah. Let's come over here to number yeah. group 18. Group 18. If you look, this is helium. Atomic number 2. So I know it has 2 yeah. electrons. The maximum the first energy level can hold is 2. That one is complete. Let's go back over to this group. Group number 2. I'm going to draw. I know it's in the second energy level, so it should, it's in the second period, so it only has two energy levels. Now let's do the electrons. This element is beryllium. Beryllium, atomic number four. One, two, because the first energy level can only hold two. I'm left with two more. Since the second energy level can hold a maximum of eight, I know that those two can go right there. Okay, if you get a little closer, you should begin to see this has one valence electron. This has one valence electron, and this has one valence electron. Hydrogen, lithium, sodium all have one valence electron. We know this because valence electrons are on the outside, the last outermost ring. All you have to do is count the electrons on the outside. Now let's do that. I see one valence electron, one valence electron, one valence electron, one electron on the outside ring. By doing that, I can see that this is all one valence electron. And if you notice, these elements are all found in group 1. Now let's go here. 
to beryllium. It had four total. I put two here, two on the outside. I know valence electrons are the electrons on the outside ring. So let's count them. We got one, two. What group is it in? Two. Okay. So what you should begin to see is a trend and a pattern. The pattern is whatever group it is in, that will help you determine the number of valence electrons. So when I do this one, the element under beryllium is magnesium, atomic number 12. I know it is in the third period, so I know it will have three rings or three energy levels. Let's put it there. We have 12 total, two here, a maximum of eight on the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus two is ten. I needed twelve. One, two. Okay, let's count. Let's see if this is correct. Group two, one valence electron, two valence electrons. Two and two, yes. One valence electron, two valence electrons. Two valence electrons, and it's in group two. Now, when we go to group 13, let's break down the element boron. Boron is in group 13, and it has an atomic number of 5. If it is in group 13, I know all I do is use the number behind the 1, which would be 3, or I subtract 10 from the group number. So all the elements in this group should have three valence electrons. Let's see. It's in period two. I know it has two energy levels. Okay. And it has an atomic number of five. So that's five electrons. Put two of them on the first energy level. And there should be three on the outermost ring. Because I know it should have three valence electrons. Let's see. It's in group 13. Let's count the valence electrons. One, two, three. Three valence electrons. If I was to go through and do this, you would see one valence electron, two valence electrons. Jump over. When I say jump over, I'm talking about going from one, two, all the way to group 13. This will have three valence electrons. Everything in this group should have four valence electrons. Everything in this group should have five valence electrons. The only reason why helium does not is because its outer energy level, its valence shell, the outside ring, is full. Since it is full, it is just like the other one elements in group 18. Their outside ring is also full. So, looking at this, the elements in period 1. Period 1, another name for period is rows. So everything in period one should have one ring or energy level. Let's look. One. And we go over. We see one. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Now we're in period two. This, every element in period two should have two energy levels. Okay. Let's count them. One, two. Two energy levels. One, two. Two energy levels. One, two. Two energy levels. And it is in period two. Let's count number three. Period three. It should have three energy levels because it is in period three. Let's count them. One energy level. Two energy levels. Three energy levels. To the next one. One energy level. Two energy levels. Three energy levels. And so on and so forth. So a quick recap. The periods. They tell you the number of energy levels that atom will have. The group, the group number, that will help you determine how many valence electrons that group has. Remember, class, valence electrons are on the outermost ring, the outermost energy level. Same thing.